Why do they hate me? Everything I said was true. This review is devoted to the apocryphal paper, Botany and Biology of My Artificial World. Unfortunately, the article cannot be considered scientific. If Mr. Malia's boy is indeed the genuine author, is it the credit the claims further as he has no relationship to the science? The international conference brought away surprises. For Mr. Boy produced the greatest of all in his speech, he declared the following point. Mr. Boy created a new species of plants and animals. Mr. Boy is creating an artificial habitat for his pets, like a gangua. <laughs> Mr. Boy, incredible but true, has invented all of this for his amusement park, which will open to the public, not the scientific community, in the very near future. And as evidence of all this nonsense, Mr. Boy produced unconvincing photos, clearly shot, photoshopped, and a flower pot, so he bred a hybrid. Big move! <laughs> no surprise that, that the new genius of body biology was mocked by the public and deride by scientists. Unfortunately for Mr. Void, the exhibited plot was broken. A conference organizer accidentally dropped the miracle. In this event apparently upset Mr. Void to the point that he suffered a violent outburst and withdrew from the podium. However, we believe he saw the writing on the wall and took the easy out. Once again, the community has unmasked in either another scientific charlatan. Wow, they didn't believe him. Else. I wonder if this is actually the onset or the origin of his uh, schizophrenia, guys. <laughs> Was he normal before this? Or maybe he was born that way, I don't know. I guess we'll find out more soon. <laughs> There's a little fox up there. You guys see the little fox? Alright, so... We're done here. <laughs> Oh, yes, we're definitely done over there. <laughs> we're not crossing this again. It has a hood ornament, is it not? Uh, a toothbrush? Maraca. A frog? Aha, got the ornament. The car's ornament. What do we have here? What is that? A lever? A lever. The tram lever. The panel lever. Oh, we can direct the electricity, guys. So we are going to... Yeah, put it that way, the ropeway. And now, this is operational. This tram. Ropeway voltage. Total power, 30. Now okay, locate the power supply so the tram can complete the entire route. And the counter at the top shows the total voltage available. 
The five small counters and show the voltage for each rail segment. And use a lever on the right to start the tram and check the voltage allotment. Okay, so. Is this a bit of a trial and error? How do I change the numbers? Reset the power. Oh. Okay, so. I don't know. I can play around with 25. So I'm adding to the numbers, the original numbers. 10, 10. Okay, so this is a 10. The first two are 10. This one is a 15, maybe. I don't know. Oh, let's say they're all 10s. <laughs> There's one that is a 15. Oh, is that a 15? You know what? This is a descent. Maybe it's only in this a 5. So 15, 5, and 20. It's a deeper ascent than this one. Maybe. <laughs> that sounds logical, guys. Maybe I'm right. I am very right. <laughs> nice. It's moving, everyone. That's the hotel over there. Stormy. Oh, stormy! And just in time, <laughs> the thing broke. The Aaron lightning bow killed the engine. I'm locked inside. I'm locked inside. <laughs> Where's my glass cutter, guys? I'll break out of here. Just as the tram was approaching the platform of the Mountain Hotel, a terrible thunderstorm broke out. Streams of lightning poured down. Then, one managed to strike the tram, melting the wires. Lucky us, guys. I was as good as in prison in a broken down tram. No worries, guys. We are very good escape artists. Can break out of here. Hello, Laurie Lean. Welcome, member. How are you doing? To our safe box. <laughs> it's locked. We need to call this a second aid box. And that is what? Malia's voice, Dendrarium, has an extensive network of transportation. The cableway stretches from the mansion to the mountain hotel, and construction of the subway tunnel has already begun. Everything will be ready for your riding pleasure in the near future. Book your trip to the voice world today, back to voice mansion. It's the second A box on the tramway. <laughs> from now on, I'm calling all these first A box, the ones that are locked. Second aid. They don't deserve the name first aid. Rusty key. Not rusty key. The window right over the platform. All right. We need a compass, springs. Chili pepper, baseball,
One more coil. This here looks like a coil of spraying right there, but it's not. A pickaxe. Okay, there we go, guys. And do I need to protect myself? <laughs> Let's wear the jacket first. It's chilly outside. <laughs> need to put it on. We don't want to catch a cold. <laughs> Without protection. Oh, rainbow is out. Okay, no, no, no. Something strange about the statues. Oh, are oh, there also dead bodies inside? These are marble statues, guys. The lamppost. The strange compass won't work. It doesn't even have a pointer. I'll take it just in case. It's a dial plate. It's quite weird. Probably a code. A code to a puzzle. An ordinary mountain hotel, if you ignore that is in the center of the artificial world. Artificial world is I don't can we really call this a, an artificial world? <laughs> it is a manufacture, but it's still a natural world, guys. All the trees are real. Like right? all the plants are real, all the flowers are real. And even the uh, the animals are real, so hmm, a manufacturer. It's just a not very natural world. <laughs> Missing planets. Paint stains. Shuffle. Okay, we can go that way into the house. And we can go through the gate. In front of the hotel, the statue of a fallen angel stretches out its wings in protest. His face has been tagged by a madman and will not stand for point or paint defilement. Oh, Gagantua! You want me to come? What? He is leading me on. He is showing me something else. Wow, he's so human there. Eh? <laughs> that was really human like. I guess we are calling him manufacturer too. A dead bow resembling scales locks the gates. Gargantua. How did you get in? Did you climb over the gate? Oh, oh, their body again. The the pose man. This is the pose man. Someone murdered the pose man right here near the courtyard gates with the rapier like weapon. Wow, a madman murder him, guys. So we still intact. The last moments of this man's life are on it. Was he taking pictures? He is not delivering mail. A uh, police patch. It's wait, what what is he guys? <laughs> he is wearing a pol uh, a postman uniform and he has a police patch and he is taking pictures too as a photographer. A broken camera with the Oh Jacko and I Probably the evil one. <laughs> AKA undercover agent. Oh, what the heck, guys? The postman is an undercover agent. The final frames reveal the last moment of the poor man's life. Undoubtedly, Sirius Void killed him to keep the truth from getting out. Whatever the truth is, I need to be very careful. A killer is tracking me. Beyond the courtyard gates, my old friend was waiting for me. This time, he clearly beckoned me for me to follow. This may be sheer lunacy, but I swear he's pleading for help. 
This is skeleton of a man lying on the grass near the gate. At first I decided that it was just a postman, but after examining the po decomposed body, I found his secret agent's badge. And that means the police were tracking Mali's void. But their agent was discovered. The agent appears to have died from stab wounds some time ago. Alright. A skull. Bullet, fish hook. Postman's hands. Man, it's still raining pretty heavily, huh? Even though the rainbow is out. Fish hook and the skull. Alright, final item. <laughs> I was clicking on the head, on the puppet head. <laughs> I ignored the skull so many times. Uh, that is solvent for the paint. A planet coin. In front of the hotel, the statue of a fallen angel. Yes, we find. Uh, yeah, we found a coin. Yes. So the planet goes here. Click on each planet to change its token to a different planet. Change all the planets until the order measures the Earth's solar system. Aha, alright, so... Uh, Mercury... Mercury... Mars... Venus and Mars? Which, which one is two? Which one is four? <laughs> I actually don't remember. I think I, I think this is the one. Mars and Venus, two and four. Okay, or the other way around. Okay, Jupiter is here, definitely. Uh, this one is... Saturn. Uranus and Neptune. I think I'm right. Or not. Maybe this is Venus. <laughs> Number four is Mars. Oh, yeah, the other way around. Ah, uh, pocket knife. And a dolphin can. Is that for our little friend, Gargantua? <laughs> this tiny can. Oh, there is a buddy dog here. Hello. Should befriend the hungry dog with food. Hey buddy, you're going to be a companion in our next game. You're going to get smaller. <laughs> you're too big right now. Need to lose weight. Turn into a different breed.
an acre. Scales, hands, tweezers, smoking pipes. With a skeletal hand count <laughs> for the hand. I thought I saw one somewhere, maybe click on it already. Scales. Are we talking about balancing scales or uh, something else? I don't know. Oh, there is one! Yes, I knew it! <laughs> Balancing scales. There, done. Another such hammer. Refresh mound. Better to dig than to think about what's buried here. Another body. Hopefully not, guys. Uh, it's an opening. Oh, oh no, no, it's not. <laughs> Another trash pile. Number seven. A fiddle bow, shaving brush, a king, and a travel craft. Shaving brush. Piano key. Someone buried the belongings of Ryder Kelvin Stain near the hotel porch. Oh, the only motive I can figure is purging of evidence. This doesn't bode well, as Mr. Stain would hardly agree to interfering his side right now. Oh, we are going to find his body very soon, guys. We're probably inside the house. The window is right over the platform. Uh, are we going to go in through the window? Really? The main entrance is locked. Another number code. Uh, turn the knobs to set the numbers and factors that will produce a result 120 after adding and multiplying according to the formula. Okay, so. Uh, addition here and then we multiply. Oh, wow, interesting, guys. And this has to be a 23. Interesting. So we multiplication one to four, one two three four. Okay, can we do? Okay, the biggest number is what? That's eighty. Okay, that's too much. Mm, if this if this is a two, then we can get a sixty from here. If that is possible, a sixty. One twenty two. That's too much. One twenty four. One forty. That's too much. Eighteen. One twenty two again. Eighteen. Hmm. 
60. Can we get a 60 from here? 15. Uh, Okay, let's try the three, guys. If this is a three, then we need... Oh, wait, we got it already. <laughs> wow. Lucky us. Mind your own business, or we won't leave to see the door. Was that a reason we got it? 